Hi, my name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am here with a book review for Remote Control by Nanetti Okorafor, which is part of the new releases of 2021. Just so you're all aware, this is going to contain spoilers. This type of novella, you can't talk about it without talking about what's actually happening. This is a novella following a young woman who has the powers of death. As a child, she is very inquisitive and sees what she thinks is a meteor shower. And in that meteor shower, she finds a box with a seed in it or from the aftermath. And to her, she thinks this is a present from the universe and is something wonderful. In the course of that year, that box is stolen from her. However, it seems the box or the seed inside has given her some superpowers. She's not completely certain, but she confides in her brother and they are conducting experiments to see what is actually going on. And after a devastating accident where her power unintentionally kills everyone in their village, she decides that she's going to go get her seed back. And so this little child named Fatima, because of the tragic incident, forgets her name and decides to call her Sankofa, which is a type of bird. She, on her journey, finds that she is not able to interact with technology at all. And this is a future version of the world, so there is a lot of technology out there. But she's not able to interact with it, so she's walking everywhere, chasing this seed. And as she does so, she's also learning how to control her powers, since they seem to be connected to her emotional responses. As she is going about, people become aware of her and what she can do. Some people ask her to release them from their life. Of, if they are like dying of cancer, they will ask her to release them so that they can move on. And then other people want to hurt her and she has to defend herself. Eventually she comes to the point where she finds the person who stole the seed, finds out he no longer has it. And at this point, she's just fed up. <laughs> and she goes, decides to go the opposite way from where the seed is calling her. Because it's like she has like a connection to it. So she kind of knows the direction it's going. And she goes to Robot Town and makes some new friends and is trying to live a different life. And things don't work out. <laughs> I am still not 100% certain how I feel about this story. I like Nanetti Okorafor's writing. That's not the problem, but the story itself, it, I guess it just sits in an odd place for me. From the book description, I expected us to spend more time with Sankofa, and we really spend a good deal of time with Fatima before she becomes Sankofa. And why that matters is because the book synopsis, I guess it kind of issued the promise that we would get a little bit of that and then it was going to be the rest about her and it's really only a small piece of her adolescence it's definitely covering the themes of men thinking that they get to control women whenever they want they get to take from women because several times we have to see sankova protect herself and how people have different perspectives and they don't communicate very well that people don't like what if they can't figure it out in their minds, they don't like it. Something that I think was done really well was the character of Sankova, as she has the power to kill people, kill technology, it, you get to see an interesting personality characteristic. And I think it's something that you also see in children where they're very egotistical, it's about them. And with Sankova, living when everyone else died, this seems to get magnified a little bit more. She just decides that, yes, I deserve this, so I'm going to take this. I can see where the fear of her from the stories that have spread, well, she's not out to rob people. 
She does expect them to give her what she wants. That's a very fine line of distinction. And so that's the rumors of her. There are more rumors that talk about how she will take and hurt people versus help somebody who is suffering. I didn't like the constant bringing up of the LifeGen Corporation. They never actually seemed to play a part in the story. It was more like it, they were mentioned just, at, just as a plot device to say, hey look, this is science fiction, this is near future. But in reality, they weren't present in the book, really. And I can see maybe if this was set in a universe, like a shared story universe, that life gen would be important. But at this time, I don't think it is. And so it's just random. I think the mentions of life gen could have been taken out. Also, I'm not a fan of how the story ends. It This is more of an open-ended story. You know what her last actions are in the story, but you don't know what the actual ramifications of those actions are going to end up being. And so again, it's just a very hard story to categorize and I'm still not 100% certain if I like it or not. I don't think Sankofa is a particularly a character that you are going to root for or a, a likable character. I don't think she's really a very likable character, but you know that not everything that has happened to her is her fault and we are or we do become who we are due to the circumstances around us. If you have read this novella, please let me know your thoughts. Thank you and have a great day.